but we didn't really like each other that much beforehand, so it hasn't made that much difference. Uh, no, uh, I think the dynamic changed in the sense that uh, as a director, uh, I was able to listen more, I think, in some ways, to Peter, who's an incredible producer and has been producing many more years than I had. Uh, and as a director, I was able to listen in a way that, as a fellow producer, I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Peter, I wanted to... to ...scope, um, and, and also in terms of the, um, uh, the scope, well, the, really the scope of the story that's being told, and yes, and, and, and in creating a world. Mm -hmm. So, um, we had to, you know, you know, Mark really had to create a world, uh, a realistic world of New York, but in which these these larger than life fantastical beings are, are living and and existing amongst mortals. And then this this other complementary world of the underground, which is completely imagined and and um, and, and also managed but I think the biggest challenge was managing this very large cast of wonderful actors, but but all of these different storylines um, and this big ensemble. Um, uh, uh, as I said to Mark many times as we were preparing the project, boy, you've really, you've really decided to take on a big one for your first time. But he really, he, he had a vision for it, and he's.